there and welcome to this month's STEM Box tutorial. I'm Kina and this month we're going to be culturing bacteria on nutrient auger plates. Our tutorial is going to go over how to make your plates, sterile technique, and the culturing of your bacteria. Stay tuned to learn more. This month's STEM Box will include the following items. Safety gear as usual, like goggles and gloves. You'll have several petri dishes for your cultures. You will have alcohol wipes to clean off all your instruments in between. Sterile swabs for collecting. An L spreader to spread your bacteria evenly around the plate. You'll definitely have nutrient auger to create your plates. A transfer pipette for liquid samples. A permanent marker to mark your samples like every good scientist does. What our box does not include, however, is adult supervision, so have an adult nearby to help you with some of these steps. You'll also want measuring spoons, measuring cups, water, and a microwave safe bowl that will easily pour into your plates. It also helps to have some paper towels nearby for easy cleanup. Let's get started. Now that we have our safety gear on and our lab space set up, the first step is creating our nutrient auger plates that our bacteria are going to grow on. For this step, you're going to need your nutrient auger packet, a measuring cup, and a teaspoon. So we're gonna measure out a heaping teaspoon into our measuring cup, and you can put a little extra because the thicker the better for growing your bacteria and the quicker your plate will set. Now that you've added your teaspoon of auger, you're going to want to grab a parent or an adult for this part to help you. Add three quarter cups of water to your measuring cup and then transfer this mixture into a microwave safe bowl. Microwave it on high for one to two minutes, checking every 15 seconds so that your bowl does not boil over. After you microwave, have a parent or an adult help you give it a little mix and pour it as it's hot into the auger plates. Make sure you only fill the auger plate up one third of the way and then let it sit for an hour so that it can cool and set. Our plates have been sitting for an hour and it looks like they're ready to go. You can tell because you have a really firm, solid gelatin mixture here that won't fall out if you're using it. Now that our plates are ready and they're firm and set, we need to think about things around our house that we want to culture. If you think of solid surfaces, think of something that might be covered in a lot of bacteria or something that's really clean that you might want to test for bacteria. For me, that's my phone. So I'm going to swab the surface of my phone using one of our sterile cotton swabs. To do this, just unwrap your swab, take one out, and gently or vigorously rub the surface of whatever disgusting thing you think is out there and you should have collected enough bacteria on the surface of your Q-tip to transfer it to a plate. So go ahead and gently swab the surface of the plate. You shouldn't puncture that auger, you should just gently glide all over the top. And then set this aside to throw it out. Cover your plate, turn it upside down so that water condensation doesn't form and mess up your culture on the top of the auger. And we always, always, always mark our plates. So I'm gonna mark this Kina's nasty cell phone and date it. So that's the first method of culturing from a solid surface. But say we wanna culture something like, I don't know, our spit. Well, that's gonna require a few more steps. So go ahead and collect your spit or something liquid like There, I even got lipstick on it. And you're gonna use your pipette, you're gonna suck up some of the sample, ooh, juicy. And you're gonna go ahead and drop it on the center of your plate. Oh yeah. We're gonna add a little bit of water to it just so it has some room to spread. Just a few drops. Boop, boop. Oof, that is extra slime. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our L spreader. Now the L spreader is a really cool tool that'll evenly spread out the bacteria to make a lawn on the surface of your plate. So I'm just gonna like start here and I'm gonna just gently glide it over the surface and I'm gonna spin it around a few times. Look at all that Kina spit. Mm -mm. That should be good, nice and slimy. We're gonna cap it. And again, you're just gonna write your name and the sample name on it and the date so that you know for how long it's been seeing. So we're just gonna call this one Kina spit the date, and we'll store this upside down as well so that there is no condensation formed on the surface of our cultures. And lastly, when you're done using your tools, make sure that you sanitize them in between so that you're able to use them for other experiments. So go ahead and use your wipe, 
your alcohol wipe and clean off your L spreader. And if you have alcohol at home, go ahead and draw up and down a few times for your pipette to clean it and let it dry sitting down. And that's how you culture a liquid sample. Once you've set your cultures, the way to store these is crucial. So you have to set them with the auger facing down on the table and put them in a warm environment. Think about where you found these bacteria and try to emulate that kind of temperature in the room for them because that's the condition that they best grow in. So for my mouth, it's warm, it's about 37 degrees Celsius. I wanna keep this somewhere like warmer, not too cold, but not hot. So I'm gonna probably leave it next to the stove or on top of the fridge. For my cell phone, this can just sit at room temperature. So you can just leave this wherever you want, but keep them together and try not to disturb them in the 24 to 48 hours that you let them rest. Now we're ready to analyze. So last week, I went ahead and I started some cultures from my cell phone and from my dog's water bowl and from my mouth. So you can see that my cell phone has actually begun to grow some individual cultures. And if there's some that you are particularly interested in, use the circle end of your inoculation loop to grab one, put it on a new plate, and spread it the same way we spread our liquid sample by using a drop of water and your L spreader to get an even lawn on the top of your auger plate. Now, if you wanna economize and use most of the plate for everything that you can, Go ahead and draw a line in the middle separating two halves, and this way you can see different samples. Just make sure you keep them separate, and you can do twice as many as just what you initially plan to do. Once we've analyzed all of the cultures and we've done all of our testing, it's time to clean up because after a few days, it starts to smell like toots. And I can tell you right now, it smells a little farty in here, and it's not me. So. We're gonna go ahead and have an adult help us with this part. Put your Petri dishes in the sink, pour bleach right onto the auger, let them sit for a few minutes in a nice aerated place, and then just wash them down the drain and you can save your plates. If you don't care about saving them, toss them in the trash, totally okay. If you wanna save your inoculation loop, your L spreader, and your pipette, use rubbing alcohol to wipe them down or to pull up and down a few times and let them dry before you use them again. Go ahead and toss out your Q-tips you can go ahead and take some from the bathroom if you wanna replicate this experiment and use those. It's almost exactly the same, just not as sterile. And lastly, if you're still interested and you're out of auger, go ahead, go to the grocery store, buy some Jello, the packets that you see that are just boil and store. Those will work in these dishes to grow too because there's lots of nutrients in there for bacteria to grow on. Thank you all so much for watching. I can't wait to see what kind of bacterial cultures you find at home. Always be safe, wear safety gloves, wash your hands. Make sure you tune into our next video where we do a quick lesson on bacteria and actually what's going on inside of them and how they work. This has been Keena with Stembox. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.